Hi everybody, it is June 3rd and that means it's the third day of the Food Bloggers Blog Every Day in June Challenge that was issued by Christy over at southernplate.com. Um, hopefully you've watched the last couple days. Hopefully you're watching some of the other bloggers too. I've been finding it really interesting to watch theirs and, and get to know them and um, I think this is like a really interesting way to get to know the people behind the blog because um, you know you read what they write and their recipes but you know you never really know their personality um, it's like I it's like when you're texting somebody and you can text something and it'll get taken the wrong way because it's there's no you know um, facial you know inflection or vocal inflection or whatever you call that um, so it's been a lot of fun um, and so I'm back today. Um, I also uh, worked out again for the third day in a row, so yay me. Um, I did Pilates instead of getting on the treadmill, and that's like really, really rough. That was, yeah, interesting. But I'll change it up, and hopefully by the end of the month, not only will I be a better vlogger, but I'll be in better shape. So, uh, let's see dive right into what the question of the day is, which is June 3rd. Who taught you how to cook? Tell us about them. Okay, well, this is kind of a, a tricky question because um, I was raised by a mom that really didn't cook, and I don't know that it was so much her fault. I mean, I think there was a lot of um, factors that took place to get her to that point, um, you know, I know her mom cooked because I can remember my grandmother cooking. I can remember, um, like some of my really vivid memories of food are things that my grandmother cooked. Like, um, the holiday she always made fresh bread and oh my gosh, fresh bread from the oven smells so good. And to this day, I cannot make bread. <laughs> I guess that's another challenge that I need to take up. Maybe next, next month I'll bake bread every day for July. I don't know. Um, but why do I always get text messages when I'm on the video? Anyway, um, so she also made um, oyster stew, I think, for New Year's Eve, which probably when I was young was the only time besides crab that I really ate anything shellfish-oriented. I, I mean, it wasn't until... I got a lot older that I really started to like clams and oysters and all that kind of stuff because I used to think they were totally gross. Um, and then baking at the holidays. Um, <laughs> I can remember one time she was making a pecan pie. Now, you have to visualize her kitchen because it was like the total 70s kitchen. It was um, that mustard yellow and brown and um, it had indoor outdoor carpeting. It didn't have like tile or wood floor or anything. It had the indoor outdoor carpeting on the floor. And she's baking, you know, for, I'm thinking it's Thanksgiving, and, and she's making pecan pies because that was like one of her specialties. And <laughs> she's pulling, you know, we can smell everything. It smells awesome. Everybody's excited waiting for the pies. And she's pulling them out of the oven. And as she pulls them out of the oven, the baking sheet like folded and the pies like flipped and landed perfectly upside down on the carpet. And of course she's like so upset and and you know almost in tears and um you know we're just like okay so my dad goes and gets another baking sheet and he takes the spatula and he just like scooped right above what was on the floor. So like you weren't getting what touched the carpet but you were still getting, you know, the inside of the pie. And, and so she's, he's flipping it over, you know, into the baking pan and we're all eating it and everything. And she's going, don't eat that. And I'm like, and we're like, why waste it? <laughs> Random memory. Um, but anyway, so my, my, my grandmother cooked, but my mom, um, I think, oh, excuse me, my allergies, even with it raining, my allergies make my eyes water. Um, I think between the fact that she was a working mom the majority of the time, her and my dad both worked at um, 
casinos in Reno and they work those funky hours. So, you know, just like food, cooking, you know, wasn't like a big, like high in her priority thing because she was tired and worked a lot of hours. Um, and then that was kind of the era like when, you know, um, TV dinners came into play and, you know, I, I, I have vivid memories of sitting on the sofa with the TV tray, with the TV dinner, watching TV with my family. Um, and then my dad was a super picky eater. I mean, you know, he was a meat and potatoes kind of guy. So give him meat, give him mashed potatoes, give him a baked potato, you know, whatever. Um, green, not so much. Don't put it on his plate. So I think she just got really tired <laughs> of trying to, to cook things um, for him because he would turn his nose up at them. And then I was daddy's little girl. So, you know, if daddy didn't eat it, I didn't want it. So she went along the lines of the processed food that my dad and then, of course, I would eat. And, you know, unfortunately, I think that's what set me up for my weight issue. And, and you know, and, and unfortunately, that was the way I was when my kids were young. So after I had my surgery and I lost all my weight um, was when, you know, A, I decided I obviously needed to make a change because I wanted to teach my kids better you know, habits, and B, because of my surgery, I, I just couldn't eat those foods that I used to eat, because sugar made me sick, and, you know, high-fat food made me sick, and I couldn't eat a lot of, um, like, pasta or bread or anything like that, because it would just fill me up, so, you know, I decided that I needed to start eating good food, you know, what little food I could eat, I wanted it to be good, and um, that's when I started watching Food Network, like I had mentioned in my other video, like, 24-7, and, um, again, like I said, you know, I, I really kind of gravitated towards Rachel Ray because she made it, she made cooking didn't seem so daunting, you know, because they're her recipes. It's like, wow, 30 minutes. I can do that. Now, granted, I can tell you that the majority of the times when I cooked her 30 minute meals, they took me about an hour, <laughs> but, um, you know, that was kind of the, the stepping off place for me. So I guess, you know, that would be pretty much who taught me how to cook. Food Network taught me how to cook. <laughs> and to this day, I still watch it 24-7. Um, you know, and my kids, you know, they, I don't know how much, how much they taught me how to cook, but they, like, led me down that path to want to cook and want to cook, you know, better meals for them and, and, and teach them to eat um, better food. It took a while. <laughs> it really took a while to get them to that point. I mean, they really were like, ew, what is this and why is this on my plate? But, um, you know, now my son will eat just about anything that you put in front of him. Um, my daughter, who I nicknamed uh, Miss Picky Pants, she actually will eat more than she would, which is awesome. I mean, she still will kind of look in the pot and be like, what's that? What's in there? Is that an onion? Is that a pepper? Um, but... Um, hopefully I've set them up now for some better eating habits and, um, they won't have the issues that I had. Now, mind you, I'm still a mac and cheese girl all the way, um, go team mac and cheese and actually have had a few people like call me the mac and cheese queen because I'll make just about anything to a mac and cheese. Um, so I think probably after learning from you know, how to cook from watching Rachel Ray and, and the other um, chefs on Food Network. Um, you know, where I've kind of decided to go is, you know, I'm obviously not like uber healthy. I, you know, love my cheese and I love my pasta. Um, but I do try to take recipes and, and, and make them a little bit healthier if I can. Um, you know, substituting out, you know, like Greek yogurt for um, sour cream or mayonnaise or, you know, just little things that you can do. So, from processed food to Food Network to who I am now, which I would say is comfort food, um, you know, a little bit healthy, uh, that's the, the process that I've gone through. So, that's why I am where I am today. Um, if you have any questions that you really want me to answer, uh, I would really like to, to hear them. So, you know, leave them in the comments or email me or, or message me on um, my social networks. Uh, I really 
want to be like interesting for you guys. Sometimes I feel like I'm staring at the camera and I'm just rambling, which I know I'm doing because that's what I do. Um, <laughs> Kevin watched my uh, my boyfriend's watched my episode yesterday and was laughing when I was talking about my ADD because he said, "Yeah, you are all over the place," but now everybody's getting to see it firsthand like I do. So anyway, <laughs> leave me questions, help me to be interesting, and uh, again, I hope you like what you're hearing, and I will see you tomorrow. Bye.